the original question for this was who's been the best sophomore this year. Yeah. But I think we'd all have Evan Mobley as the best sophomore. I would agree. So Evan Mobley has been the best sophomore offensively last year. He is somebody that. Ooh. So who Drew? You're shaking. You're, Drew, you're shaking your Scotty? head. So who's the best sophomore second season? You say Scotty? I'm a fucking laugh. <laughs> Scotty's been turning up recently. Come I will on, say. It probably would lean Evan Mobley for how much he's improved offensively. From time to time, a little inconsistent, but definitely have seen that. A little bit more aggressive, which I like to see. He actually will take a jumper from time to time, too, which is also nice to see. Um, the, def- the defense that he supplies a team is just second to none. He's an unbelievable defender. But ah, Franz has been great this season. He's been great in year two. The reason why you do have to take Moby's because his team is winning and he's a huge impact on winning basketball. Scotty, though, man, he's he's got to be in that conversation. He doesn't defensively. He's like that. No, he doesn't. He he's not Mobley. He's not Mo- <laughs> Listen, I don't have. I don't listen. I'm <laughs> glad I'm him. not looking at him. Ignore him. I'm <laughs> glad I'm not looking at him. <laughs> Say that one more time. The Raptors. This guy hasn't been. He doesn't tune Lately, in. Lately, they've been good. You haven't you haven't seen the new Jakob Pertl defense. Yeah, yeah not Scotty Jakob Pertl. No, 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 no. The def- no, because they have a center. Because uh, are you comparing Scotty and Evans' defense? Because no, not close. oh my god, who's I'm doing asking. that? No. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just Scottie, saying all around game. Scotty's not even an honorable mention when it comes to the best second year players. Josh Giddy is over him. I, I get and Franz. I don't even like Giddy. That's facts. No, no, Franz has to be. Yeah, Franz Franz I have, I have Franz, Franz too. I have Franz too. Uh, Franz too is Sengun, not. He does not. He does not clear Giddy. No, he doesn't clear him. Giddy's. I think he's too for he me. I take him over over Franz personally. Where are you putting Sangoon on this list? He's the honorable mention five. for sure. Top yeah, five. top five. Kaminga he started out hot. He's slowing down a little bit. Kaminga. Jalen yeah, Green, man. Playing. What no, happened? He's the efficiency's not not there. Come on, man. It breaks my heart to be honest. Fucking with you. stinks. No, he's poopy. He's poopy. He's handsome. He is very good. He is His girl is ridiculous. No, he respect. We went over this. We did? On like the show, bro, you had an aneurysm ago. about her. Yeah. Oh, my God, she yeah. was. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no. He, he's winning. He is, he's, he's in Houston, Houston too. Scotty listen. has been playing well, though, recently. I just want to give him that acknowledgement. But Scott all season Price, long, Evan Evan Mobley definitely has been the best yeah. sophomore. I but I want, to give it, I want to give the respect to Franz. I want to give the respect you to Scotty. You literally started with Scotty. No, no. All right, you guys clearly don't listen. That was the first name you said. No, I said Franz. Listen. Fuckers. Respect me. Um, please. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Evan will be clear, Scotty. Uh, it's pretty much night and day. Defensively, the one thing we thought Scotty would be, cl- it's not even close. What Evan Mobley does on the defensive end, he's arguably one of the best. He's a top five defender in, the ba- in basketball to me. He can't guard Embiid, uh, but yeah, you're right. I mean, Giannis or Mobley? Can. Huh? Giannis or Mobley? You give the respect Giannis. to Giannis. Okay, uh, Jaron Jackson or Mobley? I like Mobley personally. Uh, Brook Lopez or, or Mobley? I like Mobley personally. Personal. Rim he's more, he's more versatile. Just you're saying rim protector, yeah. all those guys, but he's more versatile than a few. Bam out of bio. Oh, bam. You know, I'm not picking <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Lopez bam. is better than Bam defensively. No, he's he's a better rim protector. Facts. Lopez has been unbelievable this year, which is yeah, why I want, a little, I want a little oh, yeah. bit more respect. I, no, I said, uh, I actually hate I said watching Lopez as a rim protector. I thought you said Mobley as he's a defender. Gigantic. No, I prefer Mobley, human. but I said Lopez. If you talk about rim protector, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lopez he could got fucking it. Right. Stroke he might be top five. makes no sense. He might be top five. He's not. He's probably not top five rim protector. You talk about overall, like what he can do. Everything, mm-hmm. Mobley's up there, man. I mean, this dude can go out there, guard your best guard, and protect the rim. He's better defender than Jared Allen, easy. Yeah, he's more versatile. I don't want like, the versatility. I, I don't, yeah, I don't want to say yeah. better because sometimes guys rim protecting outweigh. Like Giannis is rim protecting a help side defense outweighs a lot of guys overall defense. So I don't want to sit here and say he's solely a better. But if you're just talking about overall what he can do, he pretty much is almost a perfect defender. Is thirty four year old Brook Lopez the best Brook Lopez you've seen? Yes. A couple I mean, years on the he Nets, was a, maybe. He was an offensive post player before. Yeah, now, so it's now he has, didn't shoot before. Yeah, it's different. Um, Fucking the defense is He's just, very important to what they do. Yeah. Evan Mobley offensively, I feel like you didn't give him enough credit. You know, his, 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 okay. his, I his, thought I did. His improvement as a pick-and-roll screener. Facts. His improvement to just be at the right place at the right time and be able to catch certain basketballs that not many people can catch. You know, his touch around the rim, his aggressiveness has been better. You know, his patience around the rim. I just feel like you didn't give him enough credit. You kind of oh, disrespected God. him as a How, man. How, bro? I and gave I didn't him like that. Diligence. I no, said like I like Evan how he's Mobley, been a little bit more aggressive. He doesn't have the numbers that these other sophomores right. make because he's playing with Donovan Mitchell and Garland. But he's the perfect player for those two guys. You know, the way I he agree. screens, the way he rolls, the way he's pick and pop. You know, his def- his defensive versatility on the other end. He's the best. He's right now the best sophomore in the league. I mean, I think in mm-hmm. respect to Cade, you know, he hasn't played, though, so we can't put him on this list. But I think Mobley is comfortably the best sophomore in the league. Honorable mentions to Giddy, to Singoon, to uh, missing somebody – 
Wagner, honorable mention to Scotty does not get an honorable <laughs> mention. <laughs> I'm sorry, he doesn't. Like respect Such to him though. Scotty's really good. But in terms of we talk about fraudulent so rookie of the year. We'll, we'll get, <laughs> listen, we'll Shut we'll up. we'll talk about that another day. But uh do I believe what? That he's actually a good player. Or really you say very good? I think he's a very good player. Uh, he is know, very I good. Know, I don't know if he believes <laughs> that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all got to turn uh, on the fucking television. You need to not. <laughs> Stop. It's like, Scotty's. Scotty, yeah, Scotty he's just, I hate to Lakers. watch him play. He plays funky, but he's a good player. Jairus Walker or Scotty Barnes? I'll take Jairus Walker. Mm. Look, Trolls. Y'all are casual. Have you watched tape of Jairus Walker? Not that much. All right, then. Watch some tape. Okay. Watch some tape. Nah, Scotty's. He's good. not Scotty. So, Ev- Evan What's Mobley, Scotty? in the month of February. <laughs> Got your ass. <laughs> I will say Evan Mobley started out offensively rough to, to, to start the season. But in February, he averaged 19 and 9, th- the best points per game stretch he had all season. And since the new year, he's averaging 18 and 9, three assists, one and a half blocks per game. He's first in box plus minus and win shares amongst 2021 draftees. So, yes, he has been the best sophomore in the NBA. You know, I think Houston right now probably is thinking that maybe they, dr- they should have drafted Mobley. Over they wanted Green. James Harden 2.0, bro. Well, Jalen Green is not that. <laughs> yeah, was, no shit. I was never going to comp. No Jaylen shit. Green to that. But Evan Mobley this year started in total contested shots, first in contested threes. It just goes to show his versatility. He, he, he's a good rim protector, but also he's stepping out and he's contesting the most threes of any player in the NBA right now, and he can switch one through five, and he's what makes the Cavaliers' defense goes. Now, his ascension is crucial to what the Cavaliers – want to be come playoff time. I think they're about a year away. They have to shore up some holes on the roster. They don't have a backup big, and Bickerstaff loves going big for some reason. Jared Allen's Burks, out right now. Dean out. Wade has made two threes since Kevin Love got traded. He has not been reliable, and they don't have a really reliable center outside yeah. of Allen or Mobley that can step in and play those minutes. I think Cleveland needs their ass whooped this year. And just to <laughs> wake them up. Yeah, and I need that in the most respectful way. Like they need the, the Knicks. G- I don't think that would be the ass whipping. Um, but I think a team. Needs to go, I think it need a team. A team needs to go in there and whip their ass so they could just. All right, we needed that. Now let's lock in. We know what they are, especially Mobley. Like you know, I feel like. You know, are they still ECF bound? You know what I said. I said uh, if everything goes perfect. I did say that. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. everything goes perfect. If, if all those other teams knock each other out, uh, they need, they need to get a like splash vet wing type of. Either trade. Respect Okora, please. Uh, what if Okora came off the player. bench? Hmm? I was going to say, Okora would be their best bench something. piece easily. He's like a 24-minute You're a Danny guy. Green guy? He's 36. He's their best shooter. Ah. <laughs> 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 ah you know. He's doing it in garbage time, but. This is their first year uh, trying to figure it out, you know. Yeah. Uh, go and go through the motions. Donovan Mitchell is still an amazing playoff performer. You know, Garland, this is this is Garland and Mobley's first time in the playoffs. So, you know, this is still a relatively young group. They were in the play last year. Yeah. I don't count the play uh, oh, is it because, ironically enough, Darius Garland was mid? No, I think because you need seven games. He was great against the Nets, the Nets but against the Atlanta, he was absolutely Actually, dog-dude. it's funny because you were talking shit during the Nets game, and then he showed you. Uh, he that's not what had, I was doing. No, 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 no. no, no. We were talking, you said that he we was were, as good as Kyrie Irving. No, 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 no. no. That's You're what lying. you said. I said his handles. I said his handles. I said his handles. I said, yo, Garland handles is like that. It's he was not like, Kyrie. And then you said, look, look, let me. You said, I don't know, Riv. You turned your head, and you watched Garland bug out, and you was like, Riv. He's like that. that that's exactly that's not what, what I, happened. Just cut the cap. Right. He had an amazing game. You were Ky- disrespecting Kyrie. Kyrie getting out the first round mm. before Garland. Fuck. Sh- uh, no. Answers no. <laughs> <laughs> no. It'll be a fourth seed. He'll play the Knicks. That'll be a fun series. I would love it. I take the Cavs against the Knicks. I'm, I'm, oh, you take the Knicks, right? Yeah, now. I'm taking New York. Oh, you never Yo! know. That would be a great series. That's really the only team you don't have an agenda for. And Cavaliers East. are sealing a second round. Yeah. Floor is first round exit. They can lose in the first round. They could lose to the next. To Jalen Brunson. They could. I would be a travesty if they is lose. Is Brunson back? Not yet. If they lose to anybody outside the Knicks, would you be devastated? Like who? The Nets? Hawks, Heat, Nets. Yeah, any of those I don't think teams. they'll lose to those teams. I'm saying if they did, though, would it be like a failure? Jimmy Butler, the Knicks, you're saying? Jim, Jimmy Butler can win a playoff series. Oh, yeah. Massive. Like if they lose to the. Nets, I'm losing my fucking mind. I, I don't sure. think I, I wouldn't pick the Heat to win that. I get it, I get I don't, it. But I don't, I'm, I'm I don't respecting think, Jimmy. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that wouldn't be like. Oh, I shit. think I oh. actually think the Heat would probably get smoked out in that series, yeah. like in five games. I don't know, Spo. Yeah, five, five. Yeah. I don't think Bam's gonna be able to do much. Tyler Bam, be, yo, they be, be letting Bam die under that rim with those two bigs, yo. 
they be just, I be feeling bad for but them. But Evan bro. Mobley has been the best sophomore. But Josh Giddy, 16, 8, and 6 this year. 48% from the field, 32% from three is up his deeper percentage. Josh Giddy, man, watch out. Thank you.